Good morning, YouTube. We got a beautiful sunrise here on the Ruby Princess. We're somewhere off the coast of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We pull in tomorrow, which should be pretty cool. I get up pretty early, so I always catch the sunrises. And I'm shooting this intro video outside because my packing video uh, has some weird zooming in and zooming out action going on, especially in the beginning of the video. So I figured I'd reshoot the intro, let you know about that. I apologize. This is actually the first video I shot for the last eight months. I took an eight month break off YouTube to handle some health issues and now I'm back shooting videos and this is my first one. So the people who have been watching for a while will tell you my videos will get better, I promise. But that's one of those videos you can only shoot once. You can't reshoot it. I couldn't repack everything and give you an authentic unpacking video showing you what I carried on this cruise. So I figured I'd just roll with it. Without further ado, Let's jump into that video. So what I'm wearing, obviously you gotta count that. Uh, I'm wearing some long pants. I'm wearing some comfortable sneakers, some socks. I've got a sweater on over a collared shirt. Uh, this is Moreno wool. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love Moreno wool. It's a great travel material. I think it's gonna be great for cruising. We shall see. So I've been traveling out of a backpack for the last three years. Just one backpack, I travel carry-on only. I originally started with a 30 liter backpack and then I transitioned to a 20 liter backpack, so I don't pack a lot. But on a cruise, you have other things to consider, like formal nights, nights where you have to get dressed up a little bit more than you normally would. That's why I have a sport coat. This is uh, just a very basic Italian wool bonobos sport coat. And I, I carry it with me on a plane so I don't have to pack it. All right. Let's talk about this bag here. So I know a lot of my watchers from the past are gonna look at this and go, oh my God, Kevin has a suitcase. I was never necessarily a backpack guy, but I was always a carry-on only guy. In the States, this fits every airline's carry-on only specification. So I traveled carry-on only. I plan on doing that while cruising. This is a level eight. I got it on Amazon actually. Right now, I really, really like it. Going through the airport with this thing, the wheels work great. So I've, I've been pretty impressed so far. But for a guy who only traveled with a backpack for so long, you know, anything above a backpack is luxury. So for me, this is kind of luxurious. So let's jump into this thing. So this thing I think is 40 liters, maybe a little bit more. So it's about 10 liters more than I originally started traveling with and double what I traveled with for the last three years. So we got two sides to this bag. Actually, let me start off with this. So I just put my laptop in here against my clothes. It's in this, you know, laptop safe bag here. And, you know, just holds the laptop I use to edit videos. Another great thing about a laptop, so a lot of people have charging issues on ships. This is just basically a big giant charger. It's got four USB-C or yeah, USB-C ports. And so I can charge this thing at night and I can charge all my devices here in the day. A lot of people complain about cruise ships shutting off the power in your room when you leave and nothing that's in your room is charging that's plugged in. Well, if you have a, a laptop like this that you charged all night, you can just have your stuff plugged into your laptop, your phone, you know, whatever it is that you need to charge up your camera, uh, whatever it is. So. Uh, this thing is not only a laptop, it also doubles as a big giant charging bank when you're on a cruise ship. Uh, so that's really all that's in here. There's a couple, you know, a couple cords. When I'm going to the airport and I need stuff, I can just open this bag up and pull this out if I need cords or anything like that. So this side has nothing but clothes in it, but I'm going to start with this side here, which has everything but clothes. All right. So in this little zipper pouch is some detergent sheets. So 90% of my clothes are merino wool. And so I can wash them in the sink pretty easily. These little things are washing sheets. So you take this little thing right here and you can put it in a normal washer as well, but you can just put it in the sink and they'll dissolve. And so this is a great little hack for cruises. One of the big things about cruises is you either have to pay for laundry or you have to do your laundry in a sink. Some cruise ships have laundry facilities like this one does, and it's pretty inexpensive. So on here, I'll probably actually do most of my laundry in a washer, but I wanted to pack like I would uh, for going on all kinds of different cruise ships. So that's why I have these in here. On this other side is just a bunch of drugs. <laughs> 
Uh, we've got uh, seasick pills just in case I need them. I mean, I was in the Navy for 20 years, so if I need to use seasick pills, someone's going to pull my Navy card. I have uh, Dayquil and Nyquil tabs, basically, um, and a couple of Band-Aids. I'm always cutting my fingers for some reason, so that's what's in, in there. So not that much in those little pouches. All right, so this side is actually the smaller side where I have my clothes, and originally I put them on the deeper side, but then I realized that the shoes that I wanted to pack, the dress shoes, didn't fit very well in here. So I moved them over here, and it actually worked out great. I could fit just as much clothes in this shallow side um, as I could over here, um, but over here I can fit other stuff much better than I could over here, because I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so let's open this up. So I've got some Lululemon pants on, by the way. I've got two Lululemon pants, which I'll talk about, and a pair of Merino wool pants. Um, I got this bag when I bought uh, Lululemon clothes, and I figured this would be a great little beach bag. I don't need a lot of stuff, so for me, I can throw my cell phone in here, my sunglasses, um, some other stuff that I'll show you in a minute, and I can just carry it in this little bag, and I didn't have to purchase anything. These Lululemon bags are actually pretty nice. So um, we've got that in here. I've got a ball cap. I'm bald, and um, I had skin cancer on my forehead here, so i got to be careful. So I brought myself a ball cap here. Georgetown Law representing. <laughs> All right. Uh, on this side, I have... These are the only clothes I have on this side. I don't know why I put them on this side, uh, just in case I needed to wear them. I've got one pair of Merino wool underwear, and what do they call these? They call them rash guards, but this one's SPF 50, I believe, so sun protection. I'm really, really big on sun protection because I've had skin cancer. Uh, the chances of me getting again are pretty high, so I'm, I'm very uh, cognizant of that. So I actually have two of these, but that's what's on this side. I like, I mean, the whole reason I'm doing this cruising thing is to spend time in some tropical places and so I got some water shoes so that's what these are I bought them off Amazon they're pretty cheap we'll see how they work out all this stuff is experimental by the way I don't know if this stuff is gonna work it could suck if you buy it based on this video I'm not promising anything it might suck and I'm also gonna use them to work out in on the ship it's not like I'm going out you know, on concrete or anything like that it's gonna be to go up to the ship's gym uh, this is my laptop cord so this is one of those travel hacks I always recommend to people. So I have a long cord for my MacBook. I bought it on Amazon. No matter where I plug this up in this little stateroom I have here on the ship, I can get my laptop there. I think getting long cords is actually really smart for a traveler because you never know where the outlets are gonna be. But I can plug this thing almost in the bathroom and get it to my bed. So I recommend getting long cords. They take up a little bit more space, but it's worth it. Um, and you just don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to figure out where you're going to plug things in. There's no plug-ins over there. Maybe there is for the lamps. I'd have to move all that stuff out. But a lot of times, that's what people complain about on cruise ships. So, um, so we got that. Uh, here we have some dress shoes. This is a 16-day cruise. I think we're doing three or four smart casual, business casual type of things, and there's like one or two formal nights. I don't have super formal. That's just not how I roll anyway. So it'll be a sport coat, you know, a collared shirt. But I did bring these. I could also wear these with shorts if I wanted to. Um, these are made by a company called Amberjack, which I really like. They're super comfortable. Just slip-ons, not the normal ones you tie. I just prefer the slip-ons because I can also wear them with shorts. And we've got, I've got socks that like protect my sunglasses here while they're in my bag. So we've got the sunglasses. We've got another pair of socks, which were shoved in there. I've got some tweezers, just in case I need them. I know I've got all kinds of random stuff in here. I've got my GoPro that was stuffed in my shoe so it didn't get damaged. Uh, another set of little ankle socks. All right, this thing. So this is a little spray bottle. A lot of times on ships, it's hard to get stuff ironed. Most of the stuff I have is merino wool or kind of like wrinkle-free fabric, but it still does get a little wrinkly. And what you can do is you can fill this thing with water and just mist your clothes with it. The wrinkles will fall out. So that's what this little guy is right here. Got it on Amazon for like, I don't know, I think it was six bucks for like four of them. Uh, only got one with me. Okay, next up, a water bottle. So on cruise ships, they have drink packages. They're pretty expensive. So I bring a water bottle. There's tea, coffee, water, as much as you want on a cruise ship for free. I just go and fill this thing up. That's what this water bottle here is for. Okay, this one's interesting. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's not what you think. 
<laughs> All right, so I've got this little rope in here. So you're probably asking yourself, what in the heck? Why do you have this rope? So I mentioned that I do a lot of my laundry in the sink. Well, on a cruise ship, they usually, most cruise ships will have this little line in the bathroom, but it's really small. It's like to hang swim gear. So if I want to dry my clothes in here, um, I need something more substantial. So I don't know if you know this, but all ships are made of steel. So I got these little hooks off Amazon and you can hook them to the wall and you can hang things up. You know, I could just hang something on here and let it dry. This is fun. <laughs> if you're having fun learning what I'm bringing on this cruise, smash the thumbs up button. I've got a razor here, very simple. Shave my chrome dome. I used to have a, a buzzer, but it broke on me. I need to get another one. I've got deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush in here. And I've got them in this plastic bag to keep them from getting all over the place. And then this bag is full of all the odds and ends that I need to make YouTube videos. And there's a bunch of cords and wires. I do want to show you a couple of them. All right. So I always carry one of these with me. And it's just a universal plug and you can plug it in anywhere and it has four USB ports on it. So I'll probably plug it in somewhere and have all my USBs hanging off this thing. Actually, I got this on Amazon too. I mentioned earlier, I really like long cords. I can, you know, have my laptop sitting on the desk over here and this long cord will reach to my bed and I can still play on my phone if I want to. So I, I highly recommend getting some of these long cords. You can just go on Amazon and find them all over the place. And nine times out of 10, they're actually better than the ones you have. The rest of the stuff I have in here are just ins and outs that I need to make YouTube videos that you probably wouldn't need to carry with you. I do have this thing. <laughs> here's, one, here's a cruise hack for you. So these little things, you know what this is? It goes on your pants and it extends how far your button goes. So if you get a little chunky on the cruise from eating all the good cruise food, you just pop one of these on your pants, you're good to go. All right, so that's everything on this side of the bag. I actually could have got more stuff in here. I didn't pack it to the, to the brim. I'm really trying to get a feel on what I'll need. And so, you know, that's where we are on this side. All right, let's go over to the other side where the clothes are. So, I actually fit a fair amount of clothes in this thing and another pair of shoes, which we'll see in a minute. So I've got some swim trunks here. Uh, these are one of my favorites. I think I got these on Lulu at Lululemon some time back, a long time ago. These are some new pants I'm trying out. I can't recommend them yet. They're made by Unbound Moreno. You guys know I love Unbound Moreno. I do have a new discount code there for those who've been following me for a while. Uh, they changed it again. It is now Wake Up, and so you'll get 10% off. I haven't tried these yet, so I can't recommend them, but they seem really cool. They seem to fit like blue jeans, but they're made of Moreno wool. They're very stretchy, but they don't look like stretchy material, so I'm interested to try these out on the cruise, but that's my second pair of pants, so I've got these and these. All right, so we've got a Unbound Merino again. And this is just a black dress shirt. Compare this with a lot of different things. I can pair it with this sport coat here and a pair of whatever pants and those dress shoes and I'm good to go. Nothing beats a black dress shirt. You can also just wear it by itself with a pair of nice slacks and be pretty dressy. If you're trying to travel with not that much stuff, it's an essential item in my opinion. All right, next up is a white shirt. This is from my lawyer days. This is a wrinkle-free Brooks Brother. We'll see how it works out. I just brought it because I had it. All this stuff is, you know, trial and error for me right now. I've got another pair of Lulu lemon pants, just like the ones I have on here. What I like about them is they don't really wrinkle. They look like dress slacks. I mean, this has been folded up in my bag for a couple of days and they're not wrinkly at all, which is great. That's the kind of stuff, that's the kind of stuff I like. All right, we've got a pair of shorts. These are just super cheap Amazon basic shorts. Um, I love the Amazon basic shorts. So that's a pair of those. We've got the tie here I mentioned earlier. Can throw on something, make it a little bit fancier. I need to get a little bit fancier. We've got some workout shorts here. And these are just Oliver's. They're a pair of old workout shorts I have. These are another Amazon Basics that I got. Yeah, Amazon Essentials. I got little anchors on them. It's swim trunks. You know, I'm on a cruise. There's a lot of pools. I'm doing a little snorkeling tour. Got, got to have some swim trunks. Got another pair of shorts, uh, khaki shorts, Lululemon, a little bit fancier, a stretchy type of material. That's great. Um, we've got a Moreno wool t-shirt, blue colored one. I think this is called Ice on Unbound Moreno's website. 
think that's the name of it. You guys know I normally wear just black, but I'm gonna try some other colors. I also got this color of Unbound Moreno shirt. And we have another pair of shoes that I got on Amazon. All right, this bad boy right here, it's the same case as my case for my electronics. It's a compression case. So inside this thing are three black merino wool shirts, three pair of underwear, and another UV SPF 50 rash guard shirt. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. This is great. I was able to get, you know, four shirts and three pair of underwear in here, which is awesome. Again, this is merino wool. So while it's wrinkly, all I gotta do is throw it in the sink for a few minutes, get it wet, hang it up. It'll be nice and unwrinkly really quickly. So I've got one V-neck. You guys don't see me wear merino wools and V-necks. That's so I can wear them underneath these dress shirts. You know, I have three collar dress shirts. And if I think I'm gonna sweat like crazy, I'll wear one of these under it so the shirt doesn't, you know, have sweat stains all over it. So that's why I have this V-neck. I'm not a huge fan of V-necks, but. I figured I'd get one for that purpose since I know I'm gonna be cruising a lot. Okay, here's that rash guard shirt I was talking about. All the stuff you can find on Amazon for the most part except for the Unbound Merino. This is just an O'Neill rash guard and it's a SPF 50. All right, another Unbound Merino black shirt. You'll see a lot, that, that theme a lot. Another one <laughs> right here. And uh, my three pair of underwear. All right, so that's what I packed for this 16 day cruise to kind of figure out what I need to pack for a year long cruise. So tell me what you think down in the comments. And if you like cruise content, travel videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me in this journey. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. So uh, maybe this cruise content will push me over the top. Thanks for watching. See you next video.